Okay guys, I am at Riverview and I am going to take a whole bunch of pictures of my tree. Why you ask? Well, this is a continuation of the uh, X-Ray X-Doll D23 uh, test that I did just recently. It's kind of like part two, I guess. But this time what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be working with D23 and comparing straight D23 with uh, diluted D23. Probably around, oops, uh, one to three dilution. Just to see if I get a little bit more sharpness. Because I should. But will there be a loss of speed? Which there probably will be. So I'm going to take a bunch of shots and some backups so that I can try to match the density ranges, the one to three dilution with the straight. Horizontal shot most likely. 180. There's this tweak here, I don't know if you can see it. And it keeps poking me in the head. Sure, you know, it reminds me that the that big branch is there. Warning. Okay, I'll show you guys the composition. Okay, it's something like this. Bottom is very close to the bottom of the tree. You know, it's not as rectangular. I think there's less on this side. And I focused on the squirrel hole there. Now I'm going to take some readings with my light meter. I need to put my ISO on 80. I will take my reading there. Two seconds at 4.6. The grass, four stops brighter. So I'm going to put this armpit on ow on four got a sliver wonderful on zone four about two seconds so I'll make sure that's on t mode five foot six and a half that's zone four and i got to go to 22 so two seconds four seconds eight seconds 16 seconds, 22 and a half. It's getting windy. Oh, 16 and a half, so I better check reciprocity. 16 seconds is oh, times four. 64 seconds, mared. Okay, looks like I'm gonna be here for a while. Shape release. Hawk, the shutter. Two, one, zero, one, two, three. Okay, I've developed all of the negatives. All in D23. This one is D23 stock. One to one dilution, one to three. One six. You know, I decided to do one six. So we've got stock, and that was developed for four minutes. The one to one was six minutes. And the one to three was eight minutes. And the one to six was twelve minutes. They all received the same agitation. That was uh, five seconds every minute in a flat bottom tray. I tried to match the density range that was really tough but I did a pretty good job with these three. The one to one it's a little bit denser probably should only develop for five minutes. So I'm going to scan these in and I'm going to look at them and I'm going to compare them and I'm also going to look at the sharpness see if 
the dilution. And the more you dilute it, if it gets sharper. All right, boys and girls, here we are inside this moon merge. I've never used it before. So I thought I'd give it a try. So I've got my three images loaded. One on the left is the D23 stock. This is a D23 one to one, and this is a D23 one to three. They look very similar. The D23 stock, however, it's, the tonalities seem to be a little bit uneven, as you can see here. Something weird going on here. Development time was four minutes. Not very long. I prefer longer. So just for that very fact, I'm going to stay away from stock. I'll we'll look more closely at this one in a second. One to one dilution. Quite nice. I don't really see any difference other than highlights aren't as punchy as in the stock. It was a normal contrast range. So, except for the sky, I didn't really care about the sky and where that fell when I was making exposure. Apologize for the flare up here, I should have been aware of that. And uh, the D23 1 to 3, it's very similar to these two, although it's quite nice actually. It's got a little bit more snap to it. I'm not sure why. Maybe the 8 minute time was too long? I don't think so. It looks quite lovely. Let's check out this area here. That's where I base my exposure on, and I place it on zone 4. So I can zoom in. It's kind of neat that all three images are here. I can move around all at the same time. Okay, so oops. So here is the, I call this the armpit, uh, where I base my exposure and place it on zone 4. It's a little bit darker in the D23 stock than it is compared to the 1 to 1. The 1 to 3 is a little bit darker too. Now, why that's happening, I don't know. Could be maybe some slight fluctuation in light, lighting. Well, it was pretty consistent when I kept checking as far as speed loss, I would say. It's, if it's there, it's pretty darn subtle. Uh, and, and all, you know, I, the highlight rendering, as I mentioned, you can see there's a lot more oomph with the stock. It's a little bit flatter in the one to one, but the one to three, I guess it's just a personal choice, but you know, I like to have a little bit more snap in the highlights. And it's definitely snappy here in the one to three dilution, although these are acceptable. You know, I thought the more dilute you go, you would the midtones would suffer more. It's not too bad. Even in one to three. Let's check sharpness out. Let's zoom into this area here. It's not too bad. Overall, they look about the same. Maybe I need to zoom in more. Okay, so the one, the uh, stock, it's soft compared to the one to one. One to one is not as soft, but it is still pretty soft. Maybe just a little bit better. It's so subtle though. And then the one to three, it's better. Slightly though. Nothing really to get all excited about. Although, side by side with the one to three in the stock, you can see a difference. And let's check other areas. Yeah, look at that. Okay. The stock is quite soft, better with the one to one, and then even slightly better with the uh, one to three. Let's find the armpit. Where's the armpit? And you know what? I'm really liking the one to three. I think I'm going to stick with the one to three for now. Never touch stock. One to one is pretty nice. The one to one is the one I've always gone with. But I think I'm going to go with one to three for a while and I will probably increase my exposure by a third of the stuff. Well, I'll have to experiment, I guess. All right, here is the fourth negative that I exposed, and I developed this one at a dilution of one to six, just to see if there would be an increase in sharpness, any uh, loss of speed, 
This one was developed for 12 minutes. This is the uh, 1 to 1 dilution, 1 to 3 dilution, and 1 to 6. So they're quite similar. Let's zoom in. It's a little, a little bit thinner there, not as luminous as the 1 to 3. It's kind of like the 1 to 1, although the 1 to 1 is better. So it looks like there is a slight loss of, of speed. Of sharpness. And 1 to 1, 1 to 3, 1 to 6. Well, there's not really much difference. I mean, I can't see. There's no real advantage of going to the 1 to 6 dilution. Right now, I would stick with the 1 to 3. Thank you. 